Hi and welcome to the short unboxing and overview material for the Panzer's Last Stand. This is a great size and content-wise game from Multiman Publishing, title which is also part of a fantastic battalion combat series. I got that great position on one of MMP saves and actually enjoyed it immensely since, since then. Uh, in below material we shall very briefly look at the components and of course more great stuff also on this game you can find on my blog, link to which I enclose below. Now guys we jump to Panzer's Last Stand and this will be again another series, this will be Battalion Combat Series, one of the newest series from MMP. Uh, what is it mm, this uh, Battalion Combat Series? It originated from Operational Combat ser Series but what would happen, the OCS was brought down to a battalion level. So we will be fighting, of course, on battalion level. Uh, it revised the OCS system and it's slightly different than OCS when it actually evolved into a separate system. And it specifically looks at the combat where maneuver elements are really, really important and uh, not OCS with smaller units. No, <laughs> this is not. Uh, it's less, slightly less complex than OCS. It's definitely more complex than standard uh, combat series. So it's somewhere in the middle between, between both. Uh, why I have chosen exactly this title? That's mainly due to the topic it tells. Uh, I'm not sure if you're aware, but in March 1945, very close to the end of the war, there were huge tank battles in Hungary, in the vicinity of Budapest, where the uh, elite SS corps were fighting uh, in the last doom battle uh, of Hitler. This is exactly the story which is being told, told here, and it is told in pretty good details. Uh, by details, I mean not only the scale, but also the number of scenarios. Uh, in those final months of the war, uh, there were, Germany was still <laughs> full of fight <laughs> and believed the Budapest to be the key to turning the tide. Uh, also due to the reach uh, to, the, to the oil fields in R Romania. Uh, it was of course uh, wrong hope and wrong assumption, but uh, you know, uh, there were so many things which happened in this war, which was, which were based on the false assumptions that one does does not uh, discuss it anymore. Uh, what was going on there? The Germany was devising a plan to relieve Budapest. Uh, they wanted to bring in SS Totenkopf and SS Viking Panzer divisions from Poland. To, uh, to, they wanted to launch a surprise attack before the Soviets can close uh, the ring uh, on 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 the Budapest. Uh, there were a couple of uh, um, operations, Conrad 1, Conrad 2, Conrad 3, uh, which actually were aimed at this. And it was really brutal and merciless battle, which uh, really, really uh, cost a lot of lives. Uh, yeah. Mm. In total, at the end, if I remember correctly the story, uh, around seven SS Panzer divisions uh, where were moved here to, to, to fight. Crazy, completely crazy. Let's see what we are getting in the box. Two dice, two dice, sorry, uh, I al always misspell it. Uh, yeah, the court is a card. Now, what do we have here? Uh, I don't think this is from this game, I think this is for the other game. Yep. This is addition probably for another game. And again, we are getting here the Panzer Last Stand Battalion Combat Series rulebook and Battalion Combat Series rulebook uh, for the whole series. And this rulebook for the whole series has 48 pages. And as you can see, there is some index. So if you get away with this, it's like 47, 48 pages. And you can see this is also the new standard of MMP. Much higher quality, colorful rulebook. And to this we are getting, of course, the rulebook for the actual game. There will be 
uh, a lot of scenarios. Ah, here they are. I told you this is a game which can be played uh, with, with uh, a lot of scenarios. Uh, here they are, like 10 of them, and we'll be getting information how long they are. For example, mm, let me go here. Conrad, Operation Conrad 3 is a big scenario. But I believe the earlier one, yeah, Battle for Zamolai is a small scenario. Operation Conrad 2 is also a small scenario. So you can choose from here uh, specific scenarios according to the time and to the space uh, you, 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 you have. The number of actual rules is seven pages. So it's also not overly complex, like 37 here and seven here, which should Take some time to familiarize with, but once you do, you can play all the game in a series pretty uh, seamlessly. Uh, what you are getting also is a Battalion Combat Series um, Soviet support book, a series support book, of course. Mm, yeah. So, some additional information. I would be glad to, to read it. Then we have Axis uh, Player Book. Oh, beautiful, the map. Uh, Axis order of arrival. Uh, entry of 20 Panzer Division. Hmm. Good stuff. Then we have a Soviet player book. We have also some information about Soviet order of arrival. And other stuff here. Then we have charts and tables for the Battalion Combat Series, similar to what we've seen in uh, Operational Combat Series and Standard Combat Series, but a better quality paper. There are two, because we have, of course, two players. And then we have the turn uh, record track. Depending how long we'll be playing, it can be from January up to March. It's also depending on the on the scenario. Here we have some additional cards which I would need still to understand what they are for. And then we have tokens. Again, like with Korea, I have a forgotten word. First of all, we have uh, standard uh, BTS markers, which can be used with various games in the series. Yeah. And then we have counters for this battle. And I believe there will be pretty, pretty many of them. You see a lot of Soviets here. Again, some good storage solution is a must. And the Germans, of course. Not so many as with D-Day. It's like four counter ships. And now we have maps. How many of them we have? D. So we have A, B, C, D. Four maps. That will be a lot. Let's have a look at them. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is the first map? Map A. I would need a comma room. Yeah. Okay. It's here. I would need to look into the rule book to see how you connect them. Uh, yeah, in what order. I also believe that not all the scenarios use all format, only some of them. Okay, so this is the Lake Balaton. Mm -hmm. Here we have Conrad Free search, so the troops which are, which are coming. Good to have such reference. Here we have map C. Let's also have a look. Oh, Budapest. You see, here is the Budapest, and here are the mountains to the uh, west of it. A lot of battles will be here. And here we have a search uh, six guards tank army, yeah, which is coming here. And last but not least, the map D. which looks mostly like an open terrain. No uh, mountains, no hills, 
that's a flat Hungarian yeah, uh, lowlands. So we have for maps pretty decent number of tokens. Some uh, of uh, a reference sheet turn references. Here special Soviet and Axis player books. Uh, three rule books, you can say two rule books and one supplementary. Okay. And that's all what you're getting in the Panzer last stand. So the fifth game which I got from the Multiman Publishing on their sale. Uh, really interested to put this to the table. I played actually in in, in some Polish, let's say, published game with Operations Conrad 1, 2, 3. I would like to see how, how, how it will be depicted here.